Well, hello. Um, I finally got round to doing my 2019 wrap of the year, despite the fact I'm already well into 2020. So this is just going to be about Beano's beer and tech. I could talk about work, which I'm not going to, but it would take about four days. And I might throw the odd bit about weather and other things in, but we have lots of weather, so you know all about that. So let's start off with the big thing of the year, 17 mini beanos. Now I know in the past I've given other beanos separate names like airport codes and such like, but I haven't flown this year, so everything has become a mini beano. And I did 17 of them. And I'd like to do the same this year, except I'm skint. I spent a lot of money. I had a lot of good times, um, and I don't really care. So, out of those mini beanos, um, my two pubs of the year. I've split them into ordinary pubs, that includes mini bars and such like, and spoons. My pub of the year was the Pelican in Gloucester. It's a Y Valley pub, however. Um, lots of different beers, lots of local beers, lots of cans, lots of ciders. Um, a couple of beer festivals. There's one in February, which I'm going to see if I can get to go to um, because I enjoyed it a lot. Um, if you're in Gloucester, it's just off the city centre. I think it opens about 11 o'clock. They have good Wi-Fi and an excellent welcome. My spoons of the year, well, that was slightly more difficult. Okay, so second came the Imperial in Exeter. If for no other reason than it's huge, it has an orangery and a number of bars. And all the bars had different beers on there. They had a really good selection. However, first, the Swan Inn in... I can't remember where it is. Um, well, I'll come back to that. It's that place where you take the train, Weymouth. There you go. Um, from Dorchester. And it's a strange pub. No one under 18 is allowed, as there's another spoons just up the road. The bar itself opens at 7 o'clock in the morning. And Monday to Friday, uh, alcoholic beverages are sold from 7 o'clock in the morning. On the weekend, it opens at 7 o'clock, but the bar and alcoholic beverages are not served until 9. Local licensing. There you go. Um, I hope to go back there this year, to be perfectly honest. Um, I went to Dorchester in January to BRX and my camera, my video camera, the Canon, just died. So I replaced it with a new one, which is a Panasonic and it's 4K. Couple of things, much better sensor, much better nighttime pictures. File size has gone huge um, and I've actually had to replace, um, replace my Synology. And that's filling up like the wind now. Um, I might need to look at whether I keep the source um, video files. But I like it. But watch out for file sizes. Um, a new kit. Um, there was a new iPod mini that came iPod mini? Well, there, were, um, there was a new iPad mini that came out this year. Completely updated. Same size. And I love it. Um, the iPad mini 5. Um, traded in my old one, got it. It's a great size, it's a powerful little machine, does everything you need it to do, and it's well supported. Now, my Asus um, Windows laptop, that was starting to do odd things. Now, whether that was Windows or the hardware itself, I'm not altogether sure, um, but I traded it in. That's a euphemism because I've been getting money for it, and I still have got it. And I might actually put Ubuntu onto it. Um, I traded it in and I've got a Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, half a terabyte of storage, SSD of course, 16 gigs of RAM, i7 and it took a while to get it to run through the night um, crunching those SETI work units. Uh, but that's Windows and I've got it to do that so I'm quite happy with that. Um, although I would always like bigger, faster, whatever. Podcasts. Um, the podcast of the year, the new podcast that I listened to or enjoyed listening to more than any in the year was ATP, 
the Accidental Tech Podcast, ATP.FM. Okay, it is Apple orientated. I am a cross platform sort of person. But it's three people talking about what they're doing and they throw in a bit of car as well. And it's excellent. I would recommend it. And talking about, well, talking about podcasts, um, my solution used to be download your podcasts via Feed Demon and then transfer them onto Samsung U5s, U6s, or U7s. Little ones that put around my neck um, and they were really good. Um, not very tech. Uh, sound quality was okay, but it would go for a year. However, go for a year, go for a day. Um, uh, the last one died, so I needed to come up with a new podcast solution. And then out came the new iPod Touch, which is like, um, I don't know, smaller than an iPhone 4 or something like that. So I went ahead and bought that, put Overcast on it, Overcast from Marco Armand from the ATP podcast, created a... Um, a playlist for each day of the week, Monday through um, Sunday, and a couple of auto podcasts and a couple of evergreen podcast lists. And since then, it has been excellent, despite the abuse that it took. I can remember it falling on the floor in um, Costa Coffee in Gloucester and sort of dying. And then it came back, and I was so pleased. Um, coughed up, I think it was $10 for the premium one, so there's no ads in it, um, and that will last for a year. But I would recommend Overcast. Uh, I still have knocking around on other devices, Pocket Cast, but Overcast, wonderful. The only thing is, not on Android as well. And to finish up, there were lots and lots and lots of beers. Um, I think my New Year's resolution last year was to go through 3,000 unique beers. I ended up at 3,200 and something. I can't believe I did all of those. Um, uh, the New Year's resolution for this year is 3,500 unique beers. And I anticipate there will be a lot of journeys back and forth to the Hereford Beer House, where I think lots of my stats were created. Um, I'd be there now, apart from the fact that they've gone back to uh, California for the weather and the beer. So, that was 2019. It was an odd year, but I sort of enjoyed it. Anyway, 2020 is now sure. Um, it started well. The weather is spring-like, which probably means it won't last. But um, bye-bye 2019, and hello and thumbs up. I look like a geek um, to 2020. Bye-bye.